Yes, attack of the Zeppelins! What's up dudes and dude it's in the air now. My name's Seth and we are back again for another trove to trove mod highlight video and today we're focusing on Zeppelins. It's been such a long time since any of these things were added to the game uh, in mod form and I'm so excited about it because I mean who doesn't love a good Zeppelin? So this is the first one uh, that was constructed by the underscore Mafian, uh, Mafia N, I'm, I'm not exactly sure but this one is just beautiful. It's like double Zeppelin thing and all of these mods today I'm I'm pretty sure are going to replace the fast prototype rocket which is from the Troves of Wonder and the reason that it needs to replace that is just because of its movements and stuff like that not to mention the fact that I mean it's a gliding mount right so let's take a look at the other ones this and a few of the others that we're gonna look at were designed by evil Magician. I guess it's like an evil magician or something like that, but this is like a uh, the pirate Zeppelin and I'll, I'll put links in the description below for all of these. His are actually really really cool. It's kind of a more refined version So I guess he looked at the first mod and then just thought hey, you know what? I'm gonna take my own crack at it, but they're all awesome And I think a lot of them actually deserve to be in the game for sure uh, There's also another mod that unfortunately we're not gonna get to look at but I'll kind of ramble about that at the end of the video after we show off all of these beautiful things. <laughs> <laughs> this is his Trovesaurus version, which is just ridiculous. Don't put this in the game. Like, it's disgusting. No, seriously. It is absolutely awesome. I really like the attention to detail that uh, he ended up doing with this. I still want most, if not all, of these Zeppelins to make it into the game because they're beautiful, man. Seriously. I mean, they cover a lot of the screen, that's for sure, but it's still really, really neat, isn't it? Um, I'm going to have to wait till it's daytime, too, unfortunately. And last but not least, the Ancient Zeppelin, which I guess is a Fae-themed one, and I really like this one. This one might be one of my favorite ones just because it's like the most generic Zeppelin, you know? I, I love the steampunk style of all of these though, and I really think that it's something that should definitely be into the game for sure. Now, the last thing that I did want to mention, folks, is just the whole ordeal about this whole new uh, T-Mod file, right? So. The Neon Zeppelin that was made by, uh, where was it again, Pend DK? That one we can't actually look at. I'm assuming that he must have ended up packing the mod in properly. Like, maybe it's not in the blueprints file or anything like that, right? And herein lies the problem with this whole T-Mod thing that the game ended up introducing recently. While it means that Mac users finally do have a way of actually using mods, myself personally, I don't touch any of the uh, in-game T mod files and stuff like that, and uh, not only just because it's very inconvenient, it's very unorganized, and it doesn't really work very well in general, uh, especially compared to using TroveTools.net. But the biggest reason that I find it such a problem is for this guy's mod, for example. And there's quite a few that are doing this now. I don't know if Trophosaurus has just made it so that every new file is a Tmod file or if people are just uploading them as Tmod files. I'm not exactly sure. But the fact of the matter is that you can't edit them as easily as you normally would with zip files. So if we end up downloading a mod and it's packed incorrectly, it means that we can't go into that mod file and rename it so that we can actually see it. And on top of that, it also means that we're at a bit of a disadvantage advantage as far as conflicting mods. So if you have two mods that take the Shadow helmet, right? Normally you could go into one of the mod files yourself and change that helmet to any other file name that you want. Now we can't do that, so there's just going to be two conflicting mods that are replacing the Shadow. So I don't know if there's actually a secret solution to that. Maybe there's actually a very easy way of modding T-Mod files, but I just wanted to let you all know that it's an issue that I ran into. But if you have a solution, leave it in the comments down below. And I know that we normally should be talking about this in a video that more people will end up seeing where we talk about like the mod system in general. But uh, this being the first mod video since the whole new system has come into play, I figured that it's as good a place as anywhere. But either way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Sign Aura and stay epic, everybody.